you know, I've got two ears, look, there's one there, look. Um, GTLD Waffle, yeah. I think it's going to be, GTLDs didn't really start until about 2014, the new GTLDs. About January 2020, 2014. So, even now, they've only been about for five years. Most people haven't got a clue that what a GTLD is. It's going to be at least another five, ten years before GTLDs. You can put a GTLD on the back of a van, and uh, people realise that if you, without without the W's at the front, let's just say like um, I don't know any website address dot com. You don't have to have the W's on it, but because GTLDs are so unusual. I suppose you want to call it. Um, people won't recognise GTLDs. There's about 700 to 1,000 extensions where .com, .co.uk, whatever it are. There's about 1,000 on the end. You can have different varieties. So, unless you know them as they, as they are issued, you won't have a clue that it exists. So, People will not realise what a GTLD, it'd just be that one word dot another word, that's a GTLD website address, without the W's at the front, and it won't have a .com at the end. It'd just be one word dot another word. So if you if you want to recognise a GTLD on, in everyday life, on a piece of, on a, on a document or whatever, or on, a, on the back of a van or whatever, or online, it is just, a GTLD is one word dot, or a full stop. Another word, one word, dot, another word. That's a website address. It doesn't need W's at the front or dot com on the end. Just one word, dot, another word. That's GTLD. Just so you can familiarise yourself with GTLDs when you see them in the wild.